the course at Franklin Pierce is going to be very challenging, but we've been able to tailor our workouts to that, and we've done a lot of extra strength and conditioning work. Um, so we're as prepared as we can be, both on the women and the men's side, in terms of like what we have control over. It's a course that's not only about strength, it's about mental strength. And we've been working the whole season towards that. And it's something that you have to train on yourself and other teams may not have. With the terrain of the course, it's going to be hard to stay in a pack. It's going to be hard to keep track of one another. But yeah, I think that it would definitely play to our advantage in a course like this to stay together, to motivate one another rather than have all of us get lost in the, in the sea of, of runners. We're so much stronger. We ran the course earlier this season, and like our times will improve drastically. We needed to see that course because we needed to know. They needed to mentally know what was ahead of them. And we actually have seen the whole course. It's just that they do another additional loop. So the men only did two loops on the hill. This time they have to do three. The women only did one. This time they have to do two. So in terms of mental preparation, we needed to see that course in September so that when I started doing hill workouts with them, they knew why and they embraced them because they knew it was going to help them. And, you know, they've said the hills that we've done this season have helped them tenfold in what they feel like their hill fitness is. So they're confident going into because of what we've been able to do. So it was really, it was very worthwhile going there in September and being able to adjust our training as opposed to going there for the preview meet in October. That was to our benefit. The course is extremely hard, so anything's possible. So you never know. It's We've done a lot of strength training, which is something a lot of teams haven't done in the past. And so those hills, we're looking to conquer them and hopefully finish strong. It's a tough course. And I think that the fact that we, we have already seen it is going to play to our advantage because we know what to expect. But, you know, if it's, if it's hilly for us, it's going to be hilly for everybody. So what really matters is that we, uh, we take it one step at a time and we, 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 go for, we try to beat people. No, that's all we can do. We've really improved a lot from the beginning of the year, and I really think that we're going to make a big impact and uh, change a lot of people's opinions about snow cross country come Sunday. Coming into this race, we know what we're capable of and just finding that and digging deep to finish strong and do what we need to do. I want them to, to perform where they're capable of performing. Um, I don't want to put numbers out there where I think, you know, we may be able to finish as a team. I have an idea in my head, but anything can happen. So I really, I want them to go out there and to be confident and to race their best and just to know that, you know, we've done the work and that they're prepared. So I think the results will, will show that.